Another common and kind of go-to combination for gray is ultramarine blue and burnt umber. Now, I'm just grabbing a little bit of the blue. Blue is really a strong color here. It's also very dark, and the, ultra, and the, uh, the burnt umber, I'm sorry, is also very dark. And when you mix those two together, you get something that's close to black. This is often my go-to black uh, hue on, the, on my paintings here, rather than using the ivory black. So I'm going to start with that dark color. I'm going to clean that off. I'm going to go for my titanium white to lighten it up, and we'll see where, really where we're at, see if we've pulled in too much of the, the blue or the umber. And the umber is uh, kind of a cool earth tone. The ultramarine is kind of somewhat of a warm blue. It's fairly neutral, but it's somewhat warm. And so you can see that makes a really wonderful gray. And if we put these next to one another, we'll see if it creates the contrast that we're going to, uh, a contrast that we can notice. You can see that they both look like grays, but they're different quality of gray. The original gray that we started with that's purely neutral, no hue, um, is a bit cooler than what we ended up with when we mixed the ultramarine and the burnt umber. So let's explore some other combinations. And this is where the fun happens because you just want to start grabbing color and you want to see wh where it takes you. Um, at this stage, it's, you also want to be aware of the tint strength of your pigments. Some pigments are much stronger, so you need less of it by volume to mix and affect another color. So this exercise will help you to become really sensitive to the tint strength of your own colors. And as you paint, you'll become um, more intuitive about that. You'll know that, say, the, the phthalo blue is a really strong pigment, so you won't need a lot of that. I probably even have more than I needed on this palette to mix a, a, you know, enough for a couple paintings here. So um, let's see what happens when we start with that uh, phthalo blue, though. I'm gonna that's probably even more than I need. Just a little bit of that, and now I'm going to go for that burnt umber again. See what the difference is between the phthalo blue and the ultramarine blue when I mix it with the burnt umber. It's very dark again, so let me mix in a little bit of the titanium white. And you can look at that, that difference in color here. That, that phthalo blue is so strong, it's really affecting that umber um, more noticeably than the, than the ultramarine blue. Now this is coming across more green. As I said earlier in the course, you always want to be aware of complementary pairs. So when, I, when this triggers for me that this becomes more green, it's kind of a cooler color, in my mind I'm also thinking about the complement, which is red, or something warm. So on my palette I have a set of warm colors. I have my orange, I have my cadmium red, and I have my, um, my burnt sienna. Those are all very warm colors, so any one of those should counteract the effect of the coolness of the phthalo. So let me see if, let's reach for the burnt sienna here, mix that in there, see what this does. 